Hey, what's going on folks? Another episode of Ryan Reviews Everything and we are talking about Heist 88. This movie is loosely based on some true events that happened in the 80s in Chicago and it is inspired by the actual robber uh, by the name of Armand Moore. And this movie is directed by, uh, excuse me, Minhaj Huda. And the main star of this movie is veteran actor Courtney B. Vance or Courtney Vance. And I really did appreciate this movie. Uh, it's although it was an hour and a half, it's, it, it goes by fairly quickly for an hour and a half movie. Um, in the actual movie itself, Courtney Vance, they changed the name from Armand Moore to uh, Jeremy Horn for the for the sake of the movie. And unfortunately for Moore, the uh, the people who put this movie together decided not to get any type of input or consult consultation from Armand Moore. So it's not like they legally didn't do anything wrong, but you know, if this is a story about your life, you would like to have some type of input or even some type of compensation. Um, but unfortunately for Amon's case, the actual robber um, in real life, didn't see a dime for whatever this movie may make, um, didn't see any type of involvement whatsoever, um, just simply inspired by. So anyway, let's get to what the movie is about. So Jeremy Horn, once again, played by Courtney Vance, plays a criminal mastermind who his, his days are numbered in terms of him having to turn himself in uh, for previous crimes but before he goes to jail he wants to do one last score mainly for the sake of uh, some of his um, you know uh, mastermind or robbery colleagues uh, he mainly wants to do it for a guy by the name of Buddha Ray played by Keith David and his girlfriend uh, or former girlfriend as well and during this, he actually, be, well, not be friends, he learns through his nephew, this is uh, Jeremy Horn, he learns through his nephew about three employees who work for the bank, and he decides to persuade them to go in on this bank robbery with them. So, the background in terms of the uh, employees who agreed on helping Jeremy, we have Rick, a um, hardworking employee. Unfortunately for Rick, he has been overlooked and promised um, all these promotions and never gets anything. He gets screwed over every year. You have Danny, who is a jaded employee himself, and he actually witnessed one of his co-workers, so little black co-worker. Danny literally witnessed another black co-worker um, save the bank millions of dollars after he finds out about this uh, error that was going on in the bank. And his reward? is simply a, some type of free steak dinner or a steak dinner coupon. So it's not like he got a promotion, not like he had some type of monetary bonus. Literally just gave this guy um, a coupon for some steakhouse. And then finally, the third employee who decides to help uh, Mr. Horn, we have LaDonna. LaDonna is, ends up being one of the key pieces that needs to be on board in order for this scam to work. And she is uh, inspired because she finds out that her job is going to be replaceable after a few, you know, few months. So the three of them decide to go in on this uh, heist with um, with Horn, Jeremy Horn. And the main thing that I didn't like about the movie, um, the preparation or the training in order to pull off this scam, uh, it just seemed too easy, a little too far fetched. And granted, this is loosely based on a true story so some stuff is supposed to be either for hollywood effect or suspension of disbelief anyway um but the main thing in order to make this work were some of the guys had to put on like their fake voice um they had to imitate white guys basically they had to train their voice to imitate white guys with their voices in order to verbally agree over the phone to let these million dollar transfers go through the uh, the amount of the score was eighty million dollars, and and yeah, so I felt like I, you know once again I, I thought it would have been a little more involved or complex in terms of the actual you know actions or scheme in order to pull off this heist, but it wasn't that much. It was literally you know you know how some of these heist movies go. Yeah, you, you pick your team. You may practice or train up for the day you're gonna pull the scheme off, and then you pull the scheme off. That practicing part felt like a little, it didn't seem challenging enough, or also had a mixture of being a little too, you know, a little too good to be true. This is gonna be a spoiler alert, but this is definitely one of the parts that were actually 
um, drama, overly dramatized in order for movie effects. Um, but the the ending is probably, you know, at least in that moment, you know, that was so gut wrenching. Uh, we have one of the initial um, bank employees ends up snitching from the start. Snitching from the start, Danny told you know was letting the uh, authorities know what was going on from day one and he was like an undercover snitch that whole time from training up to the job until the job literally finished so that part kind of broke my heart about it because you know in these movies you root for the you, you root not to say well i guess you could say you root for the bad guy you root for the bank robbers and so that was almost like just a lesson learned like if you're going to pull off a job like this one it is probably going to be unrealistic to get some amateur you know, law abiding employees to just, you know, decide to go for life of crime like that. And although it made a lot of sense that there was a lot of, um, you know, you know, incentives or reasons for these three employees to go to a life of crime. You know, I I felt like that was pretty realistic. Not everybody's going to be all in because yes, it's tempting to get all that money. But there's always in the that all there's always that fear in the back of your mind. At least I would imagine. Not like I robbed a bank or anything. But there's always that fear in the back of your mind. What if I get caught? And so that was definitely something that was uh, unsuspecting for me. You know, one of the guys was a snitch from the start. So it's almost like when you pick your team, you really got to make sure you know your team. So anyway, um, I overall did enjoy this movie. If you saw it, please let me know what you thought about it. Um, the only or minor con I have about it is I felt like the training up for this particular job was not that challenging, um, because, you know, for these guys to mimic these voices, it it was, that, that's it. It That's the best I could say. It just wasn't a big enough challenge or, um, some obstacle to really overcome in order for this to happen. Um, and two, some of the stuff did come up you know, kind of conveniently, you know, like there's a part where LaDonna is literally working when she just so happens to be right at her desk. And one of the managers is easily overheard saying, yeah, we're going to replace these people in like two months because we're going to replace these transfer people with computers. Who's going to do the transfer instead, whatever. Uh, Overall, I felt like it was a good watch, a solid watch. Although if it's an hour and a half long, that hour and a half goes pretty quick. I do feel like they do move along pretty quickly with the story. Um, and yeah, man, love it or hate it, that's my review. Peace.